MJ Hobby Corner here. Welcome to my channel. And uh, today is Tuesday, the uh, 19th of October. Time is flying, really is. It's going by too quickly. Um, but this will be the first uh, video update of the week um, after our Sunday chat. And I want to show you guys a project that I'm working on. This is my project of the week. What I'm trying to do is to focus my projects a little more. So I'll have a weekly project that could be a terrain piece, a, a model that I'm making. It could be a sculpture, anything like that. And that's basically my project of the week. And I have a week to finish it, basically. So I want to talk to you guys about... Now, this is going to be an ongoing project. This is My project of the week is to finish some of the vehicles that I'm going to be showing you here. But... In reality, this is going to be an ongoing project. It'll, you know, little by little, I will be adding more and more vehicles to this. And this is for a game that Julie and I are planning in the future. And I don't know what rules we're going to use uh, for the time being. You know, I'm uh, aiming for uh, some of the work that Ivan Sorensen does with his rules. I really like his rules. So that might be it. But it's going to be an alternate history World War II game using vehicles and very small scale, uh, probably about 10 millimeter. That's what I'm aiming. My builds don't really, it's not accurately 10 millimeters, but that's kind of what I'm aiming for. So think drop zone commander vehicles, kind of the size range that they have, um, at least with the tanks and things like that. So this means that it's a World War II game, but it's also going to have mechs you know, and uh, mix in some of the historical vehicles with some of these fictitious things. So I'm planning this, we're planning this D-Day-like beach landing. And uh, the idea is I want to have all scratch builds, or mostly scratch builds. So why don't I show you what I did today, and uh, these are my half tracks. I'm going to show you how I build the half tracks, and also show you a mech, and uh, a tank and also the first landing craft for this collection. So well, I'm here with Julie today. She's joined me and that's because everything I'm building uh, uh, for this part of the project is for Julie's allied army. So she's going to be the invader. I'm going to be defending the beaches. So uh, what are some of the materials for these half tracks? Um, First and foremost, I use clothespins of various sizes. I'm on a clothespin kick. You seem to be. <laughs> and so uh, uh, different sizes from the dollar store, and uh, they are the main component of the build. Then I also use wires. Mm -hmm. I have various gauges there, okay? Uh, cable tie for making like little air vents mm -hmm. and everything. And then craft sticks and little dowels. Those are very important. Mm -hmm. um, and here you see some of the airplanes <laughs> that are already built. Procreate. Procreate clay is very important in these builds. Yes. I know you use a lot of that in this. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. use it. I kind of sculpture some bits with it, but I also use it as an adhesive. Mm -hmm. And these are just some of the tools you see that I use. My cutters, my tweezers. I'm working really, really small this time. Mm -hmm. So the floor, the hull for the half tracks... I cut out pieces of cardboard mm -hmm. in that shape. Mm -hmm. And this is the Sprite cardboard. The right, boxes right. of Sprite. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very thin but strong. Mm -hmm. And then the next step is to uh, make a little box around that hole. And that's going to be the main uh, hole area of mm -hmm. the half track. Then I add a clothespin. I cut it to fit the front end for the front right. of the half track. And that's what you're looking at here. And since I'm making two half tracks, whatever I do to one, I do to the other. Mm -hmm. It's an assembly line process. So if I'm making three or four, that's how I keep them roughly the same size. And there's a little tank I made. You even have a little tank now. Yay. Yeah, Julie's army is almost built. Mine is still not even designed yet. <laughs> <laughs> there's a little mech in the background. I'll talk about the mech in just a minute. Okay, so the bottom of the hull, that's all I'm showing in this slide. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's just that Sprite cardboard. 
comes in handy. Yep, and then I add a clothespin of the right size right below, uh, and this will make the bottom of the half track. That's where I'm going to attach the wheels. Okay. Okay. Then I add another piece of uh, clothespin. These clothespins had like these little lines, mm -hmm. and I use that as the windshield. Oh my goodness, that's brilliant. Now the mud guards are little pieces of cardboard that I cut to shape, mm -hmm. and that's going to be the mud guards over the wheels. And here is the whole assembly, the track assembly, the road wheels, the half tracks, everything's getting ready for the next step. Ooh. This is what it takes to make Julie a half track. So for <laughs> I thought you were going to say, this is, this is what it takes to make Julie happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm sorry, that was funny. Go so ahead. I use this vinyl tape to uh, actually uh, do the track details. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I bought it at Walmart in the hardware section. Mm -hmm. I've been using it for a lot of different things. I wondered what you were going to use that for. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Now I see that. The ro wheels are buttons, and I notched them with my cutter. This gives them more detail. Mm -hmm. So they're not perfectly round. Okay. And so the notching is a very important step for the wheels. Sure. And then I attach the wheels. Once I put the little toothpick through the through the holes of the buttons, I then attach the wheels. Mm -hmm. And there you can see the tracks already, the half track is almost fully assembled. Mm -hmm. You can see the tracks there, and basically that's pretty much it. Now, there's more details that go to this. <clears throat> because in order to do the tracks, I have to wrap cardboard around to make my tracks. Mm -hmm. But then I also add headlights and to make the little uh, front grill, I cut cable tie, and that's what I use for the grill. And also a little Procreate to make the shape of the headlights. Mm -hmm. That's what you're seeing here. Okay. Now it needs a bumper. I'm going to do a bumper and a little hood. For hubcaps, I use a little Procreate, stick it on there, and then I cut out the little knobby ends from the old sprues, those little round bits. That's what I use for the hubcaps. Wow. And for the wheels of the half track. Now, this is the landing craft. And what I'm doing is I'm building models for Julie, filling up the, the landing craft, and then that's it. <laughs> that's how I, I decide how many models. I'm going to build a couple more landing craft for troops and stuff like that. That is really cool. So now here you're seeing the landing craft almost finished. Mm -hmm. I added a bunch of plastic junk. Uh, stuff that a subscriber, subscriber Marty, mm -hmm. sent me mm -hmm. over the mail. So I'm using the stuff he sent me. Mm -hmm. And we're building the landing craft. And there are uh, the planes. There is a Mitchell bomber, P-25 or B-25. I see both. I, I don't know what the deal is with that P-25 or B-25. But anyway. And a Junkers inspired Ooh. plane. And that's going to be German plane. Again, this is all fictitious. It's all Weird War too. <laughs> exactly. All right, and there's a picture of the uh, Mitchell bomber as I'm getting ready to paint it, so it's going to be a nice oldie green with some cool markings. And Julie, there you go. You got your landing craft. You have a mech there. You mm -hmm. have two half tracks and one tank. I want to know what that is on the big craft, the big the big landing craft there's a plastic piece that almost looks like the the top of a, a baby bottle oh yeah that was a plastic bit that i this is the mech now the mech again is working very small i was working with my tweezers mm -hmm. uh, i use very small clothespins not the smallest but the next size up and then uh, some dowels um, I also use 16 gauge wire for the legs. So it's a slightly different procedure because mm -hmm. they have legs. Mm -hmm. So I'll have to show that in a future video. But there's the one mech for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And I've seen him close up. He's very cute. You like him? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Now this uses a lot of Procreate. Procreate to stick all the pieces together. I cut up a lot of different little clothespins and wooden bits and all kinds of little things to mm -hmm. stick on there and wire so procreate is the adhesive and there he is that's the rear of the mech mm -hmm. so you see i use the cable tie things for the mm -hmm. air vents mm -hmm. 
And this is Julie's tank. It's a light tank, so it's small. It's smaller than the half track. So we're saying this is some kind of light tank, like maybe a Stuart uh, World War II tank or something. Mm -hmm. It's very generic. Mm -hmm. Very generic brand here. And there it is again. Ah, it's a cute little tank it for is Julie. It's a cute little tank. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the mech before painting, and you guys can kind of get an idea of all the different materials I use. Again, I have to build more mechs, and we're going to build a spider tank, real little. So you guys will see the procedure in another video. I love that idea. Yeah. Yeah, and it uses everything from the clothespin, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it, I try to use everything I can. Waste not, want not. That's right. <laughs> and there is the landing craft again as I show it with all the different little pieces that it's going to carry and then we'll see how julie uses them in the invasion it's like christmas look at that i know julie's getting a whole army <laughs> all handmade there's the mm -hmm. half track now it needs bumpers it needs other details like little jerry cans and also the weapons i gotta make the weapons for the half tracks if i'm gonna add any weapons depending what julie wants so there it is, Julie. What do you think? I think it's great. Yay. Yeah. All right. Well, she's happy. Good deal. And that was it for today, folks. And uh, Julie has joined me here for this part of the video. So. Yes. Well, you know, I missed you guys. So <laughs> I thought I jumped in. I kind of weaseled my way in on this one. <laughs> she's doing her work on Malifaux. I so know. she's She's been very busy with Malifaux 1.5, mm -hmm. so I uh, figured what the hell, and these, all these fi uh, little vehicles that I'm making are for her allied force, so she might as well see <laughs> them, you know. So did Absolutely. you like them? I did. I love them. They were great. Good. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So hopefully in the next update, we'll see them all painted up. We'll make some more mechs, uh, mm -hmm. another couple of smaller landing craft, and then that's it for the allies. Moving on. To my guys. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. Thank you very much. Uh, this is MJ Hobby Corner. Martin and Julie signing off. Take care. Have a great one.